It's so important to have a diverse governing body because people only make decisions based on who they are, their experiences, where they've come from. It's a really, it's a really amazing role. You get a real sense that you're giving something back to the community. I really do enjoy doing it because I love the students. I just love the kids. Being a governor isn't about knowing education, it's not about teaching, it's not about telling the teachers that they should be teaching this and that. You are holding the school to account, making sure that the children are safe in school, in education, and they're wanting to learn. So after you've finished work, you go to a meeting for a couple of hours, uh, that's six times a year. If you can commit to that, then it's a good start to being a governor. Anyone can become a governor. And the beauty of being a governor in somewhere like Camden is that Camden Learning have so much training, so many tools and resources to help you and to help you learn things about how a school works. It's not about just what's on your CV, as in whether you went to university or not, whether um, you've got search and work background. They've already got enough of those people. You can provide a different perspective it's really important, a lived experience is also just as important as skills and qualification and things like that. So you're not trying to copy that. Your lived experience is super important as well and it's something that governing bodies and any kind of leadership needs. Although my children are all grown up, um, I am still very interested in children's education because in my opinion, our young people are our futures. It's given me the confidence that I needed. I feel like without being a parent governor, it wouldn't have kind of, it influenced me creating my, my business. Even running as a counsellor, um, it influenced that. Secretly, I love the insight. Like, I love knowing how decisions are made. I love knowing, oh, um, analysing the various results. Oh, like when the stats come in, we analyse it and say, girls got these results. Like, I love that knowledge. I love... Um, yeah, just being able to have a say and a voice and then seeing how what I said is now being effect, affecting policy. It is a very privileged position, so I love being in that position of privilege. There are three ways you can become a governor. Uh, I was nominated by the local authority, so I'm what's classed as a local authority governor. Uh, there are also community governors, um, so they can approach the school or the school can approach them and the school nominates them to uh, come onto the governing board and you can also be a parent governor. So parent governors are um, elected by parents of that school in an election. I was actually approached by my daughter's um, teacher who suggested that she thinks it would, I would actually benefit from sitting on the um, board. So I thought I'd go for it. I had to actually be elected. That was quite daunting though. Um, but yes, and here I am, eight years on. My children attend a very white, middle class, affluent um, school. So I felt like decisions would be made according to the makeup of the governing body. Because before I joined, the governing body was very white, very middle class, professionals. And Rather than being frustrated or rather than complaining from the outside, someone suggested to me, why don't you run as a parent governor? And at the time, I wasn't working, hadn't been in work for quite a while, so I had low confidence anyway, but I thought, you know what, what's the worst that could happen? So I decided to apply and we did an election and I won. Mm -hmm. 